Welcome back to Dark Corner's Lockdown. Reviews of streaming films for socially distant cult film fans. Which is most of us. Inhuman Kiss is the English release title of Sang Krasu. No idea how that's pronounced. A Thai horror based around one of the disembodied head demons that are peculiar to Southeast Asia. The film starts out pretty standard as some kids check out the local cabin in the woods. Something they will live to regret. We now jump forward 10 years and Sai is waking up with inexplicable scars. A Krasu is believed to be plaguing the village. Could it be feeding on Sai by night like a vampire? Seems like a good time for the local Krasu hunters to show up. But these men are almost as threatening as the creature itself, particularly their leader, Tad. And this element did at times remind me of Michael Reeves' Witchfinder General. <laughs> Another film drenched in fear and paranoia. Tad is theoretically on the side of the angels, protecting the village in some really effective scenes. But he's enjoying this far too much. <laughs> Tad is a great character who keeps up the energy in the film, but it's not really about him. Surprisingly, this is a love story. In fact, a love triangle. Which is a tricky thing to pull off convincingly in any film, but especially when you're balancing it with, at times, some quite gory horror. And San Krasu does it very well. While the story deliberately plays with our sympathies, tugging us back and forth, the characters are consistently likeable. <laughs> Perhaps it's a bit too sweet and a bit too slow in places, which is why you need Tad. But I found it genuinely affecting and a laudably original take on the cliches of the Asian horror genre. It's beautifully shot, particularly any scenes involving fire. From the start, there is a well-developed sense of unease that it maintains throughout. And its storytelling is confidently visual, seldom falling back on lengthy verbal explanation. I don't actually want to say too much about it because it's one that's best discovered for yourself. It's available on Netflix and definitely worth checking out. Thanks for watching. Have you seen this or any of the many floating head horrors from Southeast Asia? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.